Sam Capcaro here, back in with another anime, manga, light novel video. You know how it is. And today, we're going to be reviewing Volume 12 of the Kono Super Light Novel. I forgot what it's called, but uh, let's, let's get right into it. The good of the novel, I thought that I, there was actually a lot of good. There's a lot I enjoyed, and there was some that like I could have done without. So, this novel's kind of a mixed bag for me. Of course, it's still really, really good, and I would highly recommend it for anyone who's enjoying the Kono Super series, or just enjoys good stories in general. And what's good about it? A lot. <laughs> so let's let's get let's get to that. One thing I love about the book is the character them between Darkness and Cosma. I feel like they have one of the best character moments in the series, with Cosma and Darkness being chained together, and I think that's really phenomenal. Also, really enjoy the introduction of Darkness's child, although it does seem kind of weird. And at one point, she does kind of disappear to like go play with friends, and I feel like that's just a way to kick her out of the story to add more Darkness intimate moments. Also like the, in the integration of Chris. I feel like Chris is a very well designed character and I do like it when she comes into the story. She's one of my more favorable characters when she's written well. Sometimes she isn't written the best, but here I do like it. Also like Aqua and how oblivious she is to most things and I do like how it clearly shows that Megumin and Cosmo's relationship is very clearly developing. And I do enjoy that as everyone suddenly feels like, yeah, they're basically dating, let's kind of back up, except Darkness, which I think is actually a good comedy source. I also think the book is really well paced. I feel like characters are well used. I feel like jokes don't really overstay their welcome. And I really enjoy that. I feel like the plot naturally for the most part moves forward with how what came from volume 11 and all the way down to volume 1 about taxes and whatnot. And how the reason they weren't prevalent is because no one was rich before Cosmo got here. And now that everyone's rich, now they want to start taking money. <laughs> That's pretty stereotypical for like governments, you know. They don't want to take money from the poor, but the rich people... <laughs> At least that's how it seems in this world, so I feel like that's actually very, very reasonable. And I do like that plot point, as it does give us the Darkness Cosmo moment. Although it does somewhat feel forced on how Cosmo has to get arrested to avoid taxes, because he is just oh so rich. I also like the Darkness's resolve. I feel like her character is really, really fleshed out here, and it shows like how, yeah, she's perverted, she's a masochist, she's all this. But deep down, she is a great person who just wants to protect others. And she shows that when she's talking to Cosma. And of course, Cosma calls her stupid because she's just trying to sacrifice herself. But in reality, she's a really good person. And I do like that. I like That's the thing I love about Kamsuba. They're good people, okay? Even if on the outside, they're a-holes, they're good people. And I really, really enjoy that. It, 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 it kind of it brings a tear in my face to see how these characters have developed. Now for the bad, um, there's some. Some of the jokes honestly don't land, such as Aqua being traumatized by fireballs, considering that she's water incarnate, basically, so like, that doesn't make sense. I don't like the second half of the book nearly as much as I like the first half, as it really slows down for like, a kind of forced plot of, of Darkness's cousin being sick, and they have to go to this devil lord and all this crap. I feel like it's really random, and I feel like the book could have done without it, so I don't enjoy that too much, but it's still very enjoyable. In the end... Everyone's just having a cute picnic, like, oh, we're all happy ever after. I feel like we could have done with a different ending, perhaps. You know, something maybe leading into volume 13, which is actually a really fun volume, including Wiz. But I still didn't hate it, and I really enjoyed it. So what's my final verdict of the book? Overall, I loved it. I thought it was very comical. I thought the character that we got for Darkness was some of the best in the series, and Aqua is as comical as ever. I feel like Megumin and Cosmo are slowly developing, and I really do enjoy that. It's, it's a slow but steady develop, and I think it's natural. While that second half of the book may have disappointed me, it did have really fun moments with people such as Chris or Vanier, and I really did enjoy it. Overall, I give the book an 8.5 out of 10. On the lower end, the novels actually, because I originally came into this thing and this book was beautiful. And it was. It brought tears to my eyes. They didn't come out though. Not till volume, <laughs> not till volume 15. But overall, I thought it was great. 8.5 out of 10. I'd say it's on par with volumes 3 and 4, and I'd highly recommend it. It's a little bit worse than volume 11, but still phenomenal. Anyway, what do y'all think of the video? Do y'all like it? Do y'all agree with me on volume 12? Or do y'all hate it and want to leave a dislike? Because I'll be happy to see those. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Also, because like, coronavirus is canceled and everything, I'm probably going to have some streams on Twitch uh, for games because like, I don't got school. <laughs> Thanks, coronavirus. Uh, I mean, it sucks, but... I got nothing to do, so I might as well stream, you know. 